you beautiful twin flames and welcome back to tarot for you 444 we have someone here wanting to make an appearance today and of course who other than little red riding hood uh she's she's been camping so i don't know we kind of <laughs> we need to fix her up a bit maybe later we'll do that but I don't know we'll leave her alone I think until later because let me just cover her ears for a minute sometimes she gets a little bit annoyed with me when I fiddle with her too much so let's just leave her here and she can stare at you for a little while as we do the twin flames check-in <gasps> uh, if you're afraid of dolls <laughs> I don't know what that's called doll phobia I, I do apologize but she's part of the gang here and of course we have to embrace everything including our, <laughs> our scary sides is that right okay wow divine feminine looking into you right now then we're going to go into the divine masculine and see what's going on with him oh I've got an itchy nose the truth is coming out <laughs> okay many of you have been having some kind of paranormal <laughs> I better not she'll get me back later if I do that I'm only joking okay <laughs> some of you have been delving into the paranormal or into the spiritual side of yourself and this is really good because as you do this you're kind of connecting with you know what you believe to be true so I really like this so I'm going to give the the feminine rundown and then I'm going to give the masculine rundown because little red riding hoods here I haven't quite got enough room on my table so just taking up a little bit of space so there's this authenticity of the feminine even though the divine masculine perhaps hasn't been coming in for some of you your divine masculine has been coming in in either a 5d or a 3d way and in a bit of a <laughs> sexual way you notice you notice her face it's kind of like well you know I don't just want to be a sexual object divine masculine I would actually enjoy you showing me some love <laughs> but some of the masculine are so attracted to the feminine that they find it difficult to do so we have this loyalty from the feminine even though he might be showing up in a kind of um, you know that I don't know how tradesmen you know whistle at women as they walk by you know like if little red riding hood was walking down the street and the tradesmen tradesmen were on the roofs they might you know do that i can't even do it why can't i whistle today i don't know it's that you know that <laughs> you know how they wolf whistle they put their fingers in their mouth and they do that you're too sexy kind of thing and so little red riding hood <laughs> you don't like that i know i know she doesn't like it so the divine feminine feels like a little bit defeated because perhaps what's coming to her in the 5d is a little bit too sexy and not enough love and romance which is kind of what she's desiring at the moment we have the end of eight sorry the end the eight of pentacles in reverse you know she has been working on her own stuff here right she's she's kind of alchemizing herself right now but if we notice the sadness in her eyes she also misses the masculine quite a lot 
she doesn't get why he can't just come in like she's like well you know you like me I like you there's a few little blocks in the way but who cares <laughs> let's just get it on you notice the twins in the background there she's like you know this is a divine thing <laughs> it's that song let's get it on you know it's a real I don't even know who sings it but it's a let's get it on <laughs> so she's been in this ep why can't I speak today? Maybe it's got to do something with the divine masculine. We'll see in a minute. She's going into this introspection. She's looking after herself. She's kind of really not fussed about the masculine right now. In a way, she may be feeling him a lot in the 5D, especially when she closes her eyes and goes to sleep. You know how, you know you imagine what you want when you go to sleep well one of the things that divine feminine wants is her divine masculine <laughs> and um what you don't know won't hurt you <laughs> is what i'm gonna say to to little red riding hood today so there's this energy where she goes i'm actually not defeated anymore I'm actually understanding, wow, from a very authentic, how do I say that? Authentical place, my new word for the day. You are one. You aren't only one with your twin flame, but you also are joined and connected to the universe. And so when you can let the universe flow through you, I always say be like a jellyfish let things flow through you you end up being able to take a deep breath and know that what's right and divine is coming for you beautiful energy divine feminine I'm really proud of you <laughs> divine masculine being a little bit too sexy for his own good and of course it makes the divine feminine melt when divine masculine is very sexy because of course they are the same soul and they want to and long to join up with one another wow bottom of the deck for the divine masculine is this three of swords energy get me out of here i kind of even want to take off my jacket you know like oh i just want to get out of this yucky energy with these people i've been with you know he's really noticing the difference in how he feels with his divine feminine as opposed to how he feels with other people i want to just bring this to your attention that the divine masculine feels kind of helpless kind of hopeless <laughs> is she reacting she she may later you should see what she does when <laughs> when no one's around okay so the the ace of pentacles is this beautiful energy of the universe giving him something something to celebrate actually but he only feels like he's got something small from the universe you know I'm still building stuff up you know my intuition is telling me my intuition is telling me that I've still got a long way to go. We have the seven of pentacles here. And it's again this growing of resources, this growing of money, you know. I need the money. I need the resources. I can't be a fool for love unless I've got something to give her. I love the sacred geometry that's happening there. I believe that's the flower of life 
you know it's just, it's that sacred geometrical pattern that's found within all things so he's understanding that he's a part of the bigger universe he's looking outside of himself at others to try and compare and how did they get the stuff that they've got you know how come Jimmy and Mark have got these I don't know hotel accommodation suites that they can rent out you know how did they how did they get this wealth you know how did how did Frederick the banker you know maybe that's his best friend's cousin's auntie's husband how did he become an entrepreneur you know he's starting to think outside the box because he's not been having much fun with his own luck with regards to money if you're in a third party situation with your divine masculine as well he's not enjoying this he doesn't like it that you're with someone else and he doesn't like it if he's with someone else either take it how it resonates for you for some it's a family situation that they can't get out of uh, for some it's also perhaps that lockdown feeling of not from the pandemic lockdown but from um, the the feeling of being locked down in general with responsibility and bills that have to be paid okay here we go the hierophant wow many of them committing to spirituality and or religion of some kind i want to commit to something bigger than me i know that i'm from something beautiful and I want to be a part of this you can almost see the flower of life you know up there in heaven Wow I also want to say that there is still this energy this distorted feminine energy in their life that they don't like so if you're a beautiful divine feminine in your heart space in your love in your knowing and you know that your twin flame has some kind of distorted feminine energy whether that's his karmic partner or his mother or a cousin or you know a brother's sister's cousin's auntie's wife right this energy has been putting them off of women for a long time or off of the feminine energy I should say this isn't gender based it's distorted it's an arrogance here maybe their boss was rude to them and she's a woman maybe um, maybe it's a man that was rude to them that has a feminine energy you know what I mean but it's this cutting off this feeling and it makes them feel really yucky and so they go within and they're learning not to shut their heart off in the few in the future in the past <laughs> in the past they were shutting off their heart you know when people hurt them they close off emotionally you know they can't take it anymore maybe they have a day off of work well, maybe they give up that job altogether or maybe they avoid that locality or that place where it's happening but the fire is coming back now three of wands here I'm looking to the future with passion I'm also perhaps doing some research sorry sorry little red riding hood um, I'm also perhaps doing some research on things that I'm passionate about you know maybe I'm starting to think about selling surfboard lessons maybe I'm gonna create surfboards and sell them online no that's just a joke but for some of you it might resonate they want to make money so that they feel grounded in the world but they also want to do it in a way uh, so that it's something they love you know if they love diving maybe they could be a diving instructor I feel like for some of them it's an emotional thing and for some of them it's an actual physical thing relating to water 
So then we have the star in the reverse. You know, I haven't quite got my dreams yet, but I'm working on it. I'm working on achieving my dreams. And I know that there's a creator that's bigger than me. What a beautiful energy. And so they're working a lot. Thinking a lot about what they could create to make money. <laughs> and when they're not working, guess what they're thinking about? Here we have the four of wands, the twin flame. Wow, finally, they're thinking about their twin flame. <laughs> Been thinking about money for a really long time. They're noticing this difference between this Queen of Swords distorted feminine energy to the essence of the Divine Feminine, you know, the beautiful essence that she brings. Let's get some clarifiers now. What are they thinking about the Twin Flame? What are they thinking about the Twin Flame? We're going to clarify the Four of Wands now. There we go. You know, it's not quite there yet. I don't quite understand it in the physical. I don't know how to bring it to physical fruition. But somehow I'm going to make it grow. So it's this knowing inside of them. Let's see what they're working on. Let's clarify the Eight of Pentacles and see what they're working on. Oh, wow. We've actually got the, <laughs> the Eight of Pentacles clarifying the Eight of Pentacles. So I'm working on my work. <laughs> oh, and then a few cards fell out. So let's see what. Okay. I'm working on a new pro perhaps a new project um, so that I can save some money okay so he's and then we have the magician I'm manifesting I'm doing the groundwork I'm manifesting my future I don't like having no money anymore I don't like feeling like a page. Wow. Don't like feeling like the page of pentacles with only one pentacle. They want 10. The magician is here looking around for other things. You know, how come Harry Smith has got $8 billion in his bank account from selling, I don't know, peanuts in jars? <laughs> you know, how did he do that? I want to know how to do that. He wants to celebrate the essence of a new project coming forward. He's trying to offer himself something here. For some of them, they may be trying to offer someone else something like, you know, hey, Larry, have I got a deal for you? <laughs> Come into my office, you know. Depends what work they do, of course. But let's clarify this two of swords, this closing off of the heart because of that distorted feminine energy. Wow, we literally have the king and queen, queen of swords here. So for some of them, it's their married partner. You know, I was done and dusted a long time ago. They're still nagging me. Could be a karmic, as in a family member as well. They make me mentally and physically exhausted, actually. Wow, that's really interesting. So what does he want to say to the feminine? Let's see what he actually wants to say to the feminine. She still looks a bit tired from camping, doesn't she? I wonder how we could get you some new clothes. You like your clothes. Okay. Well, that's good. 
means I don't have to get any new ones. We could just wash them, couldn't we? And then, yes, he would be naked, but only for a little while until the washing machine does its cycle and then we hang it out in the sun to dry. And Okay, not today. Fair enough. It is a little bit cold today. <laughs> I love you, little Red Riding Hood. What do you want to say, Divine Masculine? Wow, Eight of Swords. My 3D life kind of sucks right now. Not sleeping very well. Why aren't you sleeping well? Let's get a clarifier. I'm enjoying doing clarifiers today. Three clarifiers on why you're not sleeping well and a tower moment. Okay, had a tower moment. Had a realization. I'm in love with my twin flame. Wow. Wow, oh wow. They've just realized that they're in love with you. They're trying to shut it out a little bit because some of them haven't been telling you everything about their lack of strength. Wow, their lack of strength or their ego perhaps. They're also sad about a situation. Nothing too, nothing too much, but there's some kind of situation here. I feel like it's with family that wasn't really great. Okay, so the other messages coming through is we've got the Seven of Wands and the King of Wands. <laughs> I'm trying not to fight myself. There was this inner turmoil going on with myself and I had to be strong. I had to be strong. I had to find myself. Many divine feminines have just done that. Which means it's trickling into the process of what's going on with the masculine. This is beautiful energy. And then we have the four of wands. I've been thinking about you. Now, now. Now, now. Oh, that was good. I've been thinking about you. To now, now. Wow, good dancing. I thought her apples were going to fall out of her bucket then. Donkey would be so proud of you. He's trying to get Little Red Riding Hood to come out of her shell a little bit more. So the Divine Masculine has been thinking about you. Wow, beautiful fiery passionate thinking about you too king of wands four of wands not only are you my twin flame but you are the one i want to make love to um try and think of what that song is although we go to the end of the road Still I can let it go, it's unnatural, you belong to me, I belong to you, right? Look that song up, End of the Road, I can't remember who sings it, let me know in the comments. So, <laughs> and she's buying a stairway to heaven, he's hoping that she's not closed off. Don't close off on me now, Divine Feminine. I'm finally opening up to you. I'm realizing that this staircase not only goes to God, it goes to you. You are sacred. I'm not quite the emperor yet. I haven't got all the stuff that I think I need in the 3D reality. But, but I'm working on it. See the chess piece? We looked at that the other day. He's got the king there. So he is a king. In fact, he's the king of wands right now, but he wants to be all of the kings combined, which means he would be the emperor. So he's working on it. I love this. 
wow the stagnancy seems to have broken <laughs> i want to sing morning has broken da 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 do 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 i don't know the words pray for the morning pray for little red riding hood i don't know da 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 for all you people who know what i'm doing what i'm singing that song is called morning is broken and it's a really old song that i used to know when i was a little girl perhaps the divine feminine is tapping into her inner child more and more and realizing that she is beautiful and divine and wonderful and the divine masculine is here feeling into her essence you may be feeling him in 5d <laughs> you may be feeling him in so many other ways <laughs> that we can't disclose in front of little red riding hood so take it how it resonates for you but the fiery king is here the king of wands is here the passionate king the one who ignites you divine feminine he is here and you've really been doing a great job because if your divine masculine is coming in here with the king of wands and the four of wands trying to be a king trying to be an emperor i should say then you're doing some wonderful energetic manifestations on your part now of course if you need help with this contact me i now have how many courses do i have now i have how to start your own online business i have my twin flame system which comprises of the ascension package first and foremost the manifesting course and also the magic 20 once you energetically bring them in you can ask me 20 questions so that you know what to do in the 3d reality i'm currently working also on the advanced manifesting course so if you want to get really specific you know really 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 specific <laughs> then this course will be for you too okay i'm also doing private readings uh, if you're not a twin flame and you stumbled across my channel you must be thinking wow what on earth is she talking about i also do soulmate readings for you guys and um if you've got someone that you know and love you know aka your mom or your dad or your friend or your best friend's cousins aunties uncle's sister <laughs> they're more than welcome to book a reading with me for a general life path etc etc and oh we just have to play with little red riding hood's hair before we go and then we can all feel great about our day ready let's see how springy it is ready wow so that's kind of what i want you to do with your twin flame i want you to be so um divine let me say that so that they spring to you like little red riding hood's hair look at that <laughs> now before we go we just have to <laughs> see what she'd look like if she was cool wow amazing right amazeballs <laughs> there we go and then i can let you all go i hope you have a beautiful day night afternoon evening or morning wherever you are in the world and little red riding hood let's see if she can give a wave oh hang on she's porcelain so i've got to be careful oh i don't think that she's supposed to bend that way there we go she's waving goodbye that was really awkward <laughs> okay I wonder what her boyfriend thinks of her <laughs> she's very stiff <laughs> anyway that's a whole nother topic we can talk about that later okay have a beautiful day night afternoon evening or morning wherever you are in the world let's get one more for the divine masculine if you're still here you get the secret card what's he holding a secret about hmm hang on have to I have to close my eyes to do this one what's the divine masculine being secretive about 
let us know it's going to fall out just one card please spirit Mm -mm. There it is. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, wow. You're not going to believe it. Little Red Riding Hood with borrowing your face. Wow. Because it's Mandy I'm planning to marry. Wow, oh, wow. Knight of Cups here. I don't want another pretty face. I don't want just anyone to hold. I don't want the, my love to go to waste. I want you and your beautiful soul. Oh, 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 oh. Wow, look at that. You might be getting a message soon. There's a love letter there. And there's a horse. I don't know. He might bring you a Spanish horse. <laughs> and some flowers. Let me know in the comments if you got a horse or some flowers. That would be really cool. And of course... If you stayed that long, you're the only one who knows that your divine masculine is madly in love with you. Wow, you got to stay till the end. There's always something at the end. Peace out, everyone. <laughs> I'll see you real soon. I'm going to get in trouble for this lady. You know that, right? Mwah. Okay, bye, everyone. Bye.